It's no secret that Jennifer Lopez is the hardest working woman in Hollywood, as she launched another business in April 2023, an alcohol brand called Delola, which she described on her Instagram account as a new line of mixology-level ready-to-drink spritzes. We now know what Ben Affleck was talking about when he said his new wife worked too much. For a variety of reasons, the 53-year-old actress received a great deal of criticism for her business venture. The first one being that she has been very open about the fact that she no longer drinks alcohol, which caused some fans to call her fake, while the second is that the Gone Girl actor is actually a recovering alcoholic. When the shotgun wedding actress posted a promo video on her Instagram account on April 4th to say it wasn't met with the approval that she was hoping for would be a huge understatement, as many fans said they were disappointed and confused by the decision, with one calling it not authentic, and many others thinking it would have been a much smarter decision to create a non-alcoholic, N.A., or alcohol-free, A.F. drink instead. Some fans then used Blake Lively, who launched non-alcoholic mixer brand Betty Buzz in 2021, and Bella Hadid, who launched alcohol-free beverage brand Kin Euphorics also in 2021, as two successful examples. If you'll recall, the on-the-floor singer has been very open about not drinking alcohol or even caffeine, and credited that choice, as well as getting a good night's sleep, with her glowing and age-defying appearance. I don't drink or smoke or have caffeine, she admitted to The Independent back in 2016. That really wrecks your skin as you get older, she added, which therefore makes her new business venture extremely confusing to her fans. Oh, wow. This is disappointing. Why not create a N.A. brand considering you've been outspoken about the negative effects of alcohol and that you yourself don't drink, one fan wrote. This feels so off-brand for you, genuinely curious why you're selling alcohol, they added. Wow, I'm so disappointed and confused by the narrative that she puts out about how she doesn't drink alcohol and all the benefits from not drinking. And her partner is sober? Questioned another fan, adding, I've always been a fan of JLO, but again, this is really, really disappointing, and her messaging is very confusing. This is probably not the best way to support a sober husband, noted another. Would have loved it if you created an alcohol-free brand, they added, while someone else said, Very disappointing considering you have said on numerous occasions that you don't drink and all the benefits that come with it. In addition, your husband is a recovering alcoholic. Each day is a battle. I find it off for your brand. Did you even consider partnering with a non-alcoholic brand? Super disappointed and confused about you promoting something that you have openly shared you do not partake in because of the health effects of alcohol. Also, you are married to a man that struggles with alcohol addiction, said another, which someone else echoed, writing, Very disappointed in you, Jen. You don't drink and your husband has an alcohol abuse disorder. Do you really need the money? Why not an AF line of drinks? You live and support a better lifestyle than this, and it is not authentic. A fan commented, I thought you didn't drink. And another echoed, but you don't drink. Another wrote, so why would we buy alcohol from someone who doesn't even drink their product? A third said, you could have done what Blake Lively did, launch a non-alcoholic brand because she doesn't drink. I admire Blake for being honest. I don't know what you're doing. Another fan criticized her for promoting Coach products, but not using them as much as other higher-end brands. She won't drink it. Just like her Coach bags, she is always photographed carrying Christian Dior or Chanel bags. Another fan called her failure to launch an alcohol-free brand a missed opportunity, adding, What if you instead created a sophisticated, non-alcoholic cocktail that would better mesh with your and your husband's alcohol-free lifestyle, while making a statement about the importance of healthy choices. They added, The AF category is absolutely booming, and your celeb peers, Bella Hadid, Katy Perry, Blake Lively, are paving the way for AF options to become more and more mainstream. And dare I say, cool. Super bummed that you and your at Delola team chose this route instead of one that is more rebellious, health-focused, conscientious, enlightened, and inclusive. Her fans' previous comments didn't seem to bother the Hustlers actress, who released another promo video for Delola on June 30th. 
J-Lo can be seen in the video lounging on a blue and white striped towel while wearing a striking white swimsuit, followed by a shot of Delola being poured into a glass. Her caption was, at Delola weekend, followed by the hashtag, hash Delola life. But as expected, her fans weren't having it. Who are you pouring that drink for? Because everybody knows you don't drink, one fan quipped in the comments section. I thought J-Lo didn't drink, commented another, adding, nice video though. Another fan replied, at J-Lo drinks in front of the camera only to sell, just like the pretend singing when the camera is rolling.